So you're going to start with your name, how long you've been teaching here, and um, what like your job title and what you do around here is. Okay. So <laughs> I am, um, do you want like full name or do you want just? You can do whatever you want. Okay. So Stephanie Moses, also known as Bortney Moses. Yes. Um, I have been here. This is my third year. Very exciting year for me. <laughs> um, you know, it's a good year. And I am a science teacher. I mostly teach physical science. I mostly teach the ninth graders, but I also teach meteorology and environmental science. A lot of people inspire me. Um, in the real world of not um, famous people, I'm inspired by my students frequently. I mean, I know that's kind of a cheesy answer, but <laughs> they do inspire me because they, uh, they do a lot of hard things and they deal with everything that's going on in the world today. Yeah. Um, so they, they definitely inspire me in that way. I'm also inspired by Miss um, Jody Clark. Oh, good one. She, good. she is an excellent um, fellow teacher to have yes. because she, she helps to make me be a better, a better teacher mm -hmm. as well as Miss Heather Peterson. Oh, good one. She good helps one. me to be uh, a more positive teacher. Mm -hmm. So she's uh, a positive inspiration um, because sometimes I'm not the most positive person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she is my positive inspiration. And then, uh, kind of in the the celebrity world, my favorite singer, Matt Nathanson, is my my inspiration um, because he is an amazing singer and songwriter and writes songs that really speak to people. Yeah. Probably the memory of how I got the name Bortney. <laughs> um, <laughs> Because it has stuck around, and who would have thought a name like Bortney would have exactly. stuck around for as long? Yeah. So just just getting that that new name, it's not often as an adult that you get a new nickname. So oh. having having a new name and having other people other than you mm -hmm. call me by that new name. That so is, many people, yeah. Everyone calls me that now, <laughs> and it's very strange every time someone calls me that. And the fact that I will respond to it yeah. is is very strange as well. But You're just gonna live with that name. Forever. It's my name forever, That's and just... it it will outlive your time here. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's going to live on forever. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm all done. There are a lot of things that I would like freshmen to know about high school, <laughs> um, especially since I teach freshmen. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I would like them to know is that it counts. Now it's the first time that things are counting for them, um, and so they need to they need to remember to make a good impression. They need to remember that things matter a lot more at the high school level than they did at the middle school, and the things that you do have an impact on. You know, the things that you do first trimester are going to impact what you do for the rest of your high school career. Absolutely. So I think that's, that's the big thing is things matter. Mm -hmm. Things matter mm -hmm. in, in personal life and in school. Absolutely. So. Very good, yes. It's been a weird year. It has been a weird year. <laughs> I think the highlight has just been having everyone come back. Mm -hmm. um, after being distance learning full time for so long, so long it is, and and even hybrid for so long, it's so nice to be able to see everyone every day. Um, it feels so much different to see kids twice a week or three times a week with Wednesday, um, rather than just seeing everyone once a week. And I think it, it's made an impact on, especially those relationships that you can make with kids mm -hmm. when they see you more often and then they also tend to work better for you as yeah. well. So yeah. I think just getting to see everyone all the time Absolutely. is definitely the highlight of this year. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Well, I didn't know that God had an instrument. Uh, well, now you do. But I do now, and I could definitely see why it would be the tuba. Yeah. Because it does seem like a very good instrument to be God's instrument. Sure. I don't really know Go much about it. instruments, because I was not <laughs> in band. Do you need a reference of a tuba? Uh, I mean, I know what a tuba yeah, is. It's a big... It's the big one. Big, big instrument, yeah. So maybe, maybe that's why it's God's instrument, because it's so big. And God is so big. You might have to ask Baxter about that. Uh, yeah, we'll have to have a conversation. <laughs> Your Maybe. first conversation. With him. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Definitely participating in the staff versus student relay race oh, during the uh, Snow Days Pep Fest. Mm -hmm. I was the cartwheeler. Oh. Yes, I took oh. on the role that no one else wanted. Nice. And I did a cartwheel in front of the entire school. And it went well. And it went well. I did Good. a very nice cartwheel. I can still do them from my gymnastics days as a kid. Oh, I cannot, so. Yeah, I, I did a very good cartwheel. Oh, that's fantastic. Do we have a clip of that? No, we don't. Maybe we do. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, probably not. Oh, working from home was fun. <laughs> um... <laughs> I chose to work here as often as possible, mm -hmm. so this year I mostly worked from here, well, good. except for when I did unfortunately get COVID oh. and had to work from home. Huh. Um, working from home is difficult because I have cats. <laughs> no, I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> this was oh. in November. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm good, good now. <laughs> let, me, let me work back then. Yeah. Um, it's difficult when you have cats that are needy. Mm. They liked to appear in my Zooms. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so the kids got to see my cats awesome. every once in a while, um, or they would just be sitting in my lap <laughs> while I was trying to do other things, or oh, like, man. you know, you're writing on a piece of paper and they're just trying to attack the pen. Oh, of course. And, uh, you know, I think just in general, I get more work done when I'm at school. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was very weird when everyone else was working from home and I was here. Yeah. Because there were only a few of us that came in on a regular basis, um, and it felt kind of like the school belonged to us. <laughs> and then when it was time for hybrid and everyone came back, I was like, what are you doing in my school? Like, this is mine. So uh, it, was, it was very weird to be able to like walk the halls and no one else was here. Yeah. Um, so that was strange, but... As it should have been. It, it was, yeah. yeah. It was very weird to be able to walk out of my class, like walk out into the hallway during the middle of class if I needed to. <laughs> Just not see anyone. And there was no one there. Yeah. Hmm. It was a very weird, and I'm very glad that we are back. <laughs> yes, very much so. Yes. Have a conversation. Hmm. Um, I think that it's easier to have a conversation with someone rather than to um, just answer questions. And just stare at a camera. And, and yes, don't don't look at yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Although we're pretty used to that by now with yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Um, but it's much easier to look at the other person than to look at yourself. That's me. Whoa, that's so crazy. Wow. It's well, like I almost forgot it was there. Yeah, that's so uh, crazy. Well, thank you for this. Yes, of this course. Was, this was great. Did you enjoy this? I experience? enjoyed it very much. Oh, that's so good to hear. You're not just saying that for the camera. No, of course not. No, of course not. Absolutely not. Well, this is the normal time where we'd shake hands in the interview, but we obviously can't do that because COVID. And yes, wait, we obviously this. So, yeah. um, well, thank you again. Anytime. So fun. This is where the video ends.